Uh, I'm Margaret Ann Windsor. Uh, that's my real name. The name given me when I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace um, was uh, Peggy Ann Stimps, the American Children's. They brought me to Molson, Alabama in 41, dropped me off in a pigsty. And I grew up in horrible conditions and uh, was told I was Peggy Dempsey. And uh, both twins were actually dead. They were born out of wedlock to Lina Dempsey, and she murdered both of them, and uh, the family covered it up. So I grew up uh, in those conditions, horrifying. And then I wrote a book about mind control, 77 to 78. And uh, I'm showing this because Larry Flint flew me out during a campaign um, to replace replaced Congressman Larry McDonald, a doctor, uh, in Atlanta at Piedmont Hospital. Uh, Larry McDonald had been uh, shot in the guy in Lawrenceville while I was doing the book, Georgia, and um, the guy was programmed uh, to shoot him and kill the attorney. Now then, I'll give you a little background on it, and I went to the FBI because of the harassment and torture of me and my sons. thought it was the book. I found out later about my kidnapping in 83, and my father's King Edward VIII, the real one, an imposter was used to marry Wallace Simpson, and my own Uncle George VI um, helped in my kidnapping and the overthrow of really the British government. And my father, of course, kidnapping me with Joe Kennedy, the ambassador, Jeff Kay's father, and uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt appointed Kennedy, and they got my uncle and then Elizabeth, of course, who are illegal, and they kidnapped me. Now, before I lose you, I have been putting this, and these are uh, mind control murders here. They've kept on going. Uh, these are victims that you're hating here. Uh, they're just as much a victim as the people that died. They didn't ask to be programmed for their life to be turned upside down either. Uh, this is the young man from Russia or uh, the former Soviet Union, and uh, he's going to be on death row, they say. His brother's dead for the Boston bombing. And Century Aurora, Colorado, the theater with Jane Collins being treated for mental illness, and uh, man control has nothing to do with mental illness. That's, uh, you talk about terrorists. Anybody that would diagnose him as mentally ill, a psychiatrist knows it. By the way, next door in Blacksburg, Virginia Tech, uh, they had the 33 shootings, April the 16th of 07. They had a whole list of them that you won't hear were mind control or anything. Uh, and the patterns that were used. This is a uh, Fort Hood shooter. He's a psychiatrist. He finished college next door here. I'm in Roanoke. Uh, he finished college in um, Blacksburg, Virginia Tech. I don't know where he got his uh, medical degree, but he was programmed to kill. And this is the Gifford, Gabby Gifford, and her husband, Mark, and his he's a twin, named Scott, and she ran, she was a congresswoman, I just ran, and uh, this is Tucson. So that was the mind control. So you got a whole list of it in there if you knew the people's name involved that was shot, and you see the severity of the synchronicity of how uh, this can be brought together in patterns. That's the name of my sons, Mark and Scott, who ran in Congress, and NASA has to do with it in space, and um, well, it's patterns. Now then, I want to say this real quick. I had a letter from the FBI uh, when I was doing the book, the U.S. Attorney, and uh, Harper out of Atlanta, and back on my dad's birthday, by the way, June the 23rd, of course, the year was 79 after I did the book, trying to get it published. I had antifreeze, by the way, put in the April Fool's Day of 80. But on uh, June the 23rd of 79, I had a letter from the U.S. Attorney's Office. And what is said was national security involved. It's an ongoing investigation. 
So this has been ongoing, the patterns and the murders using mind control. And it's, it's uh, I found out what people are like. Um, if I walked up to some of these people today and I knew it was going to, well, anyway, they do not want to hear about mind control unless it's happened to them and the use of it. And you can take a plane down program, the pilot or the controller, or you can, uh, well, like these mass murders, or it can be one, like Yen Zoring is in prison in uh, Virginia, and his girlfriend or friend, um, Elizabeth Hasem, is in Goochlin, Virginia prison for murder they didn't commit of her parents, uh, Nancy and Derek. They were tried in Bedford in about 87 or 88, and they're still in prison. Okay. Now then, I have uh, told about planes. Uh, uh, I have told about planes go, being programmed to go down, and a whole bunch of, of them have been programmed to take them down. Uh, but I didn't put it on Twitter, Facebook, uh, done the YouTubes the last couple of months. But the thing is that this one, um, let me go back to Larry Flint real quick. When I was flown up there in September, uh, October of 83, after the uh, KAL that was carrying Larry um, McDonald went down. Now, remember, I wrote about him in a medical malpractice book, and got the antifreeze put in me, and I wrote about Piedmont Hospital murders and all this, had antifreeze put in me. So now then, three years later, about three years later, the KAL veers off into Russian airspace. Well, you can do your, um, can, uh, you can uh, program the pilot, which was a seasoned pilot, by the way, or uh, your computer or your controllers. However, that one was done, there was mind control used, and everybody aboard died. Uh, now then, what I want to get back to, there's a list of these, a list of ongoing murders that has happened, so you'd think there was going to be an end to it. Now, I hesitated about this one, the Malaysian. Uh, but the only thing at first that made sense to me, and I did put it on Twitter, and I put it on Facebook, and I put it on YouTube. But I didn't want to commit myself to it because I wasn't sure. Okay, the one thing that fits into all of it, but you have to have a history on timeline and all that, is the 37-0. Very important. Okay, the other thing is the USS Kid, the name Kid, K-I-D-D, you understand that? You have to go back and in time and now to fit it together. The other thing now is, Recently, where I've been staying, it's a, uh, where I've been staying here, because I've been gassed and, and everything used on me. I'm allergic to chemicals, so I have had my illness used against me, and the cops, the law enforcement's involved in it all. So um, I mean, I've been made to look everything but who I am. Okay, um, but I want to say real quick. Prior to this, the Quality Inn Airport here in Rona was owned supposedly by Germans, who I like. God help me, they helped the Brits save my life, and a few Americans did. But I want to say this, it changed ownership. Supposedly, that's the way it's playing out here, and that's what I'm told, and that's who's here. Shaw, S-H-A-H, from India, took it over. Now, that's the group that came in to hear Roanoke, and in 94, I believe, they took my money out in Troutville. That's 11 miles from here, and Sonny Shaw owns most of these, and they're all the same family, and I was told that the family that come in and bought this is related, and I'm sure they are, S-H-A-H, and that's the name of the pilot where the simulator was brought in and of this airline, Malaysian Airlines. So there's more to the pattern than first met my eye. But anyway, uh, that's the connection there, the Shaw, S-H-A-H. And this goes back, Sonny Shaw, back when I rented in 94 out there on Plantation Road, Budget Inn. And uh, this was a relative of his, and he may, Sonny may have owned that one. But I paid hard-earned money. I couldn't get uh, 